welcome to the start of another reading vlog. Um, this week is going to be chaotic and so I thought if I did a vlog maybe it would like keep me in check, keep me sane and just like give me something to distract me and to be honest I've been like plowing through books this month. I, I hate that I used that phrase. That's so gross. But I've been reading a lot of books lately, or at least I feel like I have been. I've been finishing them at a very quick pace. So, um, I, I don't know what day it is. It's the 9th. I lost my watch, so that's not good. Um, it's the 9th. And uh, we just got back from a walk. I actually found this in a little free library. I have the ebook, but, I mean, it's a little damaged, but... Uh, I've been wanting to read this for a while, and so I grabbed it. We were dropping off some, uh, like, children's books. I guess I'll be back. My child is hungry. Apparently, he's not hungry. He just needed a pop school. So, I don't know what I was talking about. I think I was saying that I've been reading a lot lately, and I was going to tell you what I plan on reading this week. The first one is uh, Unmasked by Paul Holes and Robin Gabby Fisher. This is nonfiction, true crime. Paul Holes is a criminologist, detective, well, retired. Um, he helped solve the Golden State Killer case. He worked on, um, well, he was a crime scene tech kind of thing, um, autopsy tech with Lacey Peterson. And yeah, so this is really good, but it's a difficult read. I feel like he puts a lot of heart into it and um makes it a lot more personal he does talk a lot about his mental health issues that he had because of working this job like nightmares and panic attacks and just drinking issues and he makes it all a lot more personal uh he's a badass i really i really like him um unfortunately my dog <laughs> chewed the corner of this new book um, actually, I want to show you the cover. Here's the, the cover. I want to just shout out this really hot, awesome author photo. <laughs> it's like, like full page, like back of the book author photo, which I got a good chuckle out of when I first saw it. But uh, I definitely hope to finish or should finish this book um, this week. I am also hoping to at least start Sundial by Catriona Ward. I've had this for a while and I need to get to it. I keep seeing it on TikTok, people keep talking about how good it is, and I just, I really want to read it, and I've really been in the mood to read physical books, and I just, I just have to make it work somehow, and I just recently got Slewfoot as well, and I really want to read this because I just saw Jordaline talk about it and how amazing it is, and I've wanted to read it for a while, but I kept seeing... I saw one person speak badly about it, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to get it. Um, but then she spoke so highly of it, and I, I do think I'm going to like it. But now I'm torn, like, should I wait for fall for this? I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to. I think this is going to be another one that I pick up this week. And then I also am reading – my dog is playing with ice cubes. I also am reading The Never King. I forget who this is by. I'm reading it because Tamika says to read it. And hopefully I remember to link every single channel that I mention ever, always, not just in this video. But um, yeah, so I'm going to read those books. I did start Rewind by Katherine Ryan Howard on audiobook, but I'm just not feeling audiobooks at the moment. Oh, and I did show you that I'm also rereading Lolita. So this is this is gonna be pure chaos this week. So thanks for hanging out with me. I forgot that I also have this in the library. And I started the audiobook and I like don't care. Even though I just reread Black Sun and it was so good. This might be like a DNF for now. So we're at the park. So we'll probably be here for a while because he just wants to um, throw rocks into the creek, which whatever. So I finished Unmasked and I really liked it. There's a lot about the Golden State Killer. Um, so I think if you've read I'll Be Gone in the Dark, then you kind of know. 
but he talks about a bunch of other stuff and he talks a lot about his personal life and mental health issues and everything like I said earlier and I really liked it I really like Paul Holes as a person I really liked that he was vulnerable enough to talk about how doing what he does or did ruined his first marriage and gave him anxiety and depression and alcoholism like I really appreciate that but um yeah it was really good so now we're at the park and when I get a chance to actually sit while he's doing something I'm working my way through the Never King and this is I don't know if I said it uh Peter Pan retelling it's like a smutty fantasy book on Kindle Unlimited and I think it's a harem or a reverse harem? I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna read that. It's fairly short. And I also got the arc of What Moves the Dead today. Like I completely forgot that I had that or they just sent it to me after I thought they denied me. I don't know. So I might read that this week too. We'll have to see. Oh, and I did cut five inches off my hair. So we'll see. I just cut it when it was wet, so I don't know how it truly turned out because I didn't style it or anything afterwards. But in all reality, I wear my hair up like almost all the time anyways. And it's summertime and it literally, it feels so much lighter. It's, it's amazing so far. So I'm gonna continue to chase him around and I'll check in some other time. Kid, dog. I'm exhausted and my son doesn't want to sleep, so that's great. We went to the park, we ran errands, and I can't believe he doesn't want to sleep. Like, it was an intense park time. But I finished a book, Rewind by Katherine Ryan Howard, and this is about, like, the synopsis really only gives us a little bit. We're following Natalie, who is like an Instagram influencer, and she decides to go away for the weekend or for some time to like get away from the internet and stuff. And she has different motives as to why. And then uh, we're also following a man who works at a hotel who he puts cameras in the rooms of the hotel and watches them. And one night, someone gets murdered in this hotel, and he sees it on camera, and then the person that does the killing destroys the camera, and he doesn't understand how they knew about the camera. So, this was pretty twisty-turny. Uh, the Nothing Man is still my favorite Katherine Ryan Howard book. Um, that's actually, like, one of my favorite, like, mystery books ever, and, um it's it was fun it was entertaining it was I didn't see what was coming there's one pretty big twist that I didn't know was coming until I was like reading like that page or whatever I was and it was like building up to it and I was like wait a minute <laughs> um but yeah I really enjoyed it I listened to it on an audiobook it's really good uh, I enjoy the audio it is a little difficult with the audiobook because um like, since it's called Rewind and it's all about tapes and stuff and secret cameras, you get a lot of rewind, 57 seconds, fast forward, three minutes. Like, so you are jumping around so much. Like, each chapter you're jumping around to a different time frame and a different character. We're following a journalist. We're following um, a woman who's having an affair with the influencer's husband and we're following the influencer and uh we're following the hotel manager I, th I think that's all of the perspectives that I can remember um so we're following a lot of perspectives and you're jumping back and forth between the past and the present a lot so um yeah it's one of those ones you really got to pay attention but I enjoyed it I liked it and that's only two books done for uh this vlog unfortunately i need to go set up a pool and 
maybe my kid will sleep. I don't know. I doubt it. I know on a previous clip I showed you my copy of Sundial. I was literally debating on whether or not I was going to annotate this book and I started putting tabs in it. But then once my son poured my coffee all over it and the dog tried to eat it, um, I'm just gonna annotate it with the highlighter and stuff. I just wanted to keep the copy really nice. In some books I annotate, some books I don't, and it's just like a, a feeling that I get if I'm gonna do it or not. So um, I, I had a feeling that I wasn't, but they decided for me. Um, but I'm like 10 pages in and I think I'm really going to like this book. I've already got like a couple, three, four highlights or something. Like I just really like it. I think I'm really going to like the writing and the main character and the, it's about motherhood or the main character is a mother and it's about her relationship with her daughter and her daughter's weird. Um, I don't exactly know. I know she like talks to imaginary friends or something apparently and they don't have a good relationship, her and her mother. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a weird one. I really like The Last House on Needless Street. So I'm gonna read a little bit of this while I fill up the pool and the water table. And he has been in his crib for an hour and a half, jumping, tumbling, chatting, singing, anything but sleeping, so. That'll be fun. Thankfully, I've got family coming over to visit and like they'll keep him busy enough to, I don't know, hopefully he won't be too big of a brat. Can't blame him though. Like you're grumpy, you're grumpy, but I really could have used a nap, but I guess not. So take down this caffeine and um, enjoy the summer weather and maybe read some of my book. I came outside to film this clip and my neighbor started mowing, so hopefully that's not too loud. But this vlog kind of took a turn um, in a good way, I guess. So I did mention that I was reading Sundial or wanted to read Sundial by Catriona Ward. I am 160 pages in or something. This is gonna be like a new favorite book of all time, depending how this continues. Uh, this is so good it's about a woman rob who her daughter her older daughter callie is exhibiting some strange things and it's uh related to rob's past as a child and so to fix her daughter she takes her back to her hometown or where she grew up some sundial and we're getting like past and present uh storylines and the writing is so good her descriptions are um like you could say that it's like flowery writing but it's so dark and gritty like the descriptions are dark and gritty and i love it seriously this is gonna be a new favorite book unless the ending is extremely disappointing and i've just been tabbing and highlighting like crazy the it is it's so it's so good this, the writing and the descriptions and everything, like this is just like my kind of thing. Like this just really clicks with me. So yeah, I just, um, I'm loving it so much and I'm so glad that I finally picked it up. I don't know why I was a little hesitant about it. Like, I don't know, I don't know. I think maybe I was one of those books where you know you're gonna love it and so you just keep putting it off. I love this book so much and I will like cry if it go goes bad. All the lightning in my house is horrendous right now so like excuse this angle and stuff but I really wanted to close out this vlog and let you know that I finished Sundial and it's definitely a favorite of the year. I don't know if I would say if it's like a favorite of all time and when I think back on my favorites and compare but I tabbed the crap out of this book. I highlighted so much. It kept me guessing. And what I said earlier about the prose and the writing style and the flowery writing, but it's gritty and dark. I love it. This is, this is my type of book. This was heartbreaking and suspenseful at times. 
and I loved it. I do have to say there is a bit of animal cruelty in here, which was hard to read, but it wasn't the most graphic or brutal animal cruelty that I've ever read, but I adore this book. I'll talk about it more in a wrap up or in a separate video altogether, I'm not sure yet. But I just wanted to close out this vlog, let you know this is a five star read if I was giving books ratings. I love it, favorite of the year, and I can't wait to read more from her and I really wanna reread The Last House on Needless Street. But let me know if you've read any of the books that I talked about in this vlog. I don't even remember how many there were. And let me know what you've been reading lately. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.